On today, we'll be looking at a new Z690 motherboard. This is a new AS Rock Z690 Extreme, designed for new Intel 12th generation CPU. Good morning and welcome to Tech Interceptor. First of all, remember to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to stay up to date on upcoming video and if you want to take a look at our Twitter and Instagram profiles. As anticipated at the beginning, in this new first contact, we are going to discover the new AES Rock Z690 Extreme, which joined to the family of numerous Z690 available on the market. You can find the complete roundup list of new boards in the description. Starting from the box, we find, of course, the motherboard, four SATA cables, four screws for M2 sockets, two standoff for M2 sockets, one graphic card holder, quick installation guide, and support CD. The Z690 board in question is an ATX full factor that measures 30.5 cm for 24.4 cm. The boards presented a VRM layout feature 13 power faces that guarantee the maximum power and efficiency. It's covered by two fully covered MOSFET black metal heatsink with thermal pad at the upside and at the near the back IO panel. In addition, there are two ANAVA that cover the M2 slot. As all new Z600 board, it features Intel 1700 socket that support the Intel 12th generation in order Core i9, i7, i5, i4 CPU, Intel Pentium Gold and Intel Celeron CPU. The motherboard is equipped with 4 DDR4 DIMM sockets, dual channel memory architecture that support 32GB single DIMM capacity up to a maximum of 128GB for 4 DIMM. It supports DDR4 from 2133 MHz to 3200 MHz. Regarding the header of motherboard in upside from the left, there are 8 plus 8 pin ATX 12 volt power connector for the CPU, CPU fan connector, chassis or water pump connector, and CPU or water pump fan connector. After going down on the right side, there are 24 pin ATX main power socket connector, front panel type C USB 3.2 Gen 2 for 2 header, USB 3.2 Gen 1 header, chassis or water pump fan connector, 6 SATA 6 GB to second connectors, 6 SATA 6 GB to second connector, post status checker, and chassis or water pump fan connector. In the bottom of motherboard there are clear CMOS jumper, system panel header, USB 3.2 Gen 1 header, 2 SATA connector, SPI TPM header, power LED and speaker header, 2 USB 2.0 header, 5 pin Thunderbolt AIC connector, chassis or water pump fan connector, RGB LED header, addressable LED header, and the front panel audio header. Finally, in the middle, there is one chassis or water pump fan connector. The storage option includes 8 SATA 3 6GB to second connector and 3 M2 slots, one Hyper M2 socket support type 2260-2280 storage devices at PCI Express Gen 4 for 4 modes. One Ultra M2 socket support type 2230, 2242, 2260 and 2280. SATA 3 6 GB to second at PCI Express Gen 3 for 4 modes. And one Hyper M2 socket support type 2242, 2260, 2280 and 22110 storage devices at PCI Express Gen 4 for 4 mode.
as expansion slots the motherboard feature one PCI Express 5.0 for 16 slots one PCI Express 4.0 for 16 slots one PCI Express 3.0 for 16 slots and one PCI Express 3.0 for one slot on back in the IO panel we find firstly BIOS flashback button PS2 mouse keyboard port two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, HDMI port, display port, one LAN port, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A port, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C port, one 2.5 GB LAN RJ45 port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, and audio jacks including central bus, rear speaker, optical SBDIF out port, line in, front speaker, and microphone. The audio feature Realtek ALC 1220 codec with 7.1 channel audio. And now we talk about of prices. The motherboard is available or retail at price of about 269 US dollar at the time of making this video. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you find this video helpful, then leave a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.